in, uh, in one of my favourite parts of the whole country. Um, the place that got me into hill walking uh, over 10 years ago. Uh, I'm sure you could probably guess uh, from the views behind. Um, yeah, we're riding up into the Northwest Highlands. I've got uh, three days off work. Uh, my wife's let me have some time to myself. Not been up here for certainly over a year. Um, I'm so looking forward to the next couple of days. Plan to do some Corbett's each day. Um, so yeah, so what a great start to a mini adventure. Um, you two, Angelic and what Dawn are in the foreground. Morning. Well, it was a reasonable night in the car. Uh, so I've had a bit of breakfast. And uh, the clag has come down, but not to worry. A bit of blue sky above me, I can see at the moment. A bit of colour. So hopefully, uh, hopefully that lifts over the next couple of hours get some views from uh, this Graham just behind us. We're gonna head up this uh, this ridge then we drop down quite steeply off the other side and I think it's quite a steep pull up onto the Corbett. Um, so I yeah looking forward to it. Um, the sunset was stunning last night which you'll you've probably already seen So yeah, that's the plan, and then we're going to head aye, up beyond Ullapool. I'm going to try and get up something tonight for a wild camp uh, on the mountain, somewhere further north. So yeah, we'll uh, we get cracked on, and we'll probably chat later on. And I'm a bit higher up this hill with hopefully a few views. Well, we're starting to get a few pockets of blue sky appearing above us. So hopefully it's gonna it's gonna clear. Um Definitely murky this morning, but yeah, it's good to be out. And yeah, there's a bit of breeze, so hopefully, hopefully it's going to break up. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll see how we go. But I, I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna break, and we're gonna be probably above it. Certainly on the Corbett. Yeah, let's carry on up. Well, we're getting some uh, some fleeting views. There is blue sky just uh, above us. Um, I think the the Graham top is just over here. Well, not too far to go, uh, and then we'll be on the summit.
cloud keeps coming and going. When it goes, it's pretty stunning. There's some great views into the annex. And Angelic is just behind me. <coughs> and then earlier on, you could see down into Ullapool. Yeah, for a small hill, it's a, it's a stunning view. It really is. Some great views now. Looking all the way into the Fisherfield Hills. Yeah, hopefully it, uh, hopefully it clears up when we get up to this uh, Corbett, which is behind us. Um, so we've got a a real steep drop off in a second and then a pull back I think we've got to go back about another two three hundred meters back along where we've come from um, and then drop down which I think is quite steep initially but uh, we'll be fine and then I think it's a yeah it's a good 350 meter pull up the other side oh. but yeah I yeah, know this is a uh, one hell of a, a stunning uh, view when the cloud disappears. That's nearly up onto the Corbett. I decided to come over to this, uh, I think it's like a northern top. Um, yeah, what a view down into Ullapool and what broom. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty stunning. Just make out the Hebrides in the distance. Yeah, yeah it's a great mountain over here, although it's not Monroe's. Uh, absolutely stunning mountains. And that's the area that got me into hill walking. Stack Polly and all in and around there. So, yeah, so just behind me is the, the main summit of the Corbett. So we'll, uh, we'll head up there in a minute, about another 50 metres or so to, to get up onto the summit. But yeah, what a, what a day. The clouds definitely lifted.
Well, that's uh, that's me on the stalker's path, um, which is going to lead me back to the car or the road, and then back to the car. Um, just thought I'd stop here and have a bite to eat, as it's it's a nice spot. You see the ridge we walked along to get to the ground, uh, and then we dropped down and then back up onto the corvette over here and the two locks in the middle. It's a uh, yeah, beautiful part of a uh, beautiful part of the world. So yeah, plans just to carry along the stalker's path and then I might head cross country back to the car or I might just follow that all the way back to the road and then walk back down the road. I'll we'll see how we're feeling. And then we're going to head up further north um, and hopefully get up onto a summit tonight for for sunset. That's uh, that's the plan anyway. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'll crack on. Well, I've driven uh, about an hour, an hour and 20 minutes further north. Um, you can see the hill behind me. Cansip uh, is what I think it's called. Um, so I'm going to head up there this evening and camp for the, for the night and hopefully get some uh, stunning views over uh, Sylvain. Um, it's looking pretty good. Hopefully we can get up there for sunset and yeah, have a have a great night. Making some headway. Car's looking quite a long way away now, which is good. Got them more Asset and Cornwall uh, in the distance. Looking rather magnificent. And hi. Right, we're getting there. Another good hour, and I think we'll be. We won't be far off the summit. Oh, just got to crack on. Walking up these slabs at the moment, which is making it pretty easy going, which is good. Uh, yeah, making some good headway. So, yeah, going to crack on and yeah, get up to this summit. Got to be some of the best mountains in Scotland. Might not be the biggest, but uh, I think they're the best. So, 
Lane, Stack Polly, where it all began for me. Uh, the hill walking, and then Colmore over here. Yeah, some of the best. Got the Summer Isles, and then the Outer Hebrides in the distance. So yeah, no, I need to need to figure out where I'm going to camp for the night. Um, perhaps a spot just behind me here. I might have a look at. Otherwise, I might just drop down a little bit. Um, I think the views are perhaps better down there, but I don't know. I think this is pretty cool as well. So, yeah. All right, better go find somewhere to kip for the night. Oh, that's the tent up. A stunning view. So I'm just off the summit. There I am. The summit's back up there. Um, so yeah, that's the uh, camp for the night. So I think I'm. Uh, just going to sort my sleeping bag out and then probably go back up to the summit, have a bite to eat and then go take some photos I think because it's looking pretty nice. decided to carry on photographing and it's just about it's just about the light's gone now it's been a yeah it's been a fabulous evening oh, I'm so glad I came up here tonight I made that effort I was certainly regretting it at some points earlier on but no that's been a that's been uh, spectacular. So hopefully there'll be a few photographs on now, um, showing as the light changed. And as I said, I hope, uh, yeah, I hope the morning brings similar conditions. It's hard to tell what it looks like out east. There is a bit of cloud out there, but yeah, let's see what happens. But yeah. What an evening, and well worth the effort, but it's time for bed because I am truly tired out. Mm -hmm.